want to give my quick boxer outlook for Terrence Crawford. A great boxer, excellent boxer, man. Um, he gets a lot of hell from a lot of Errol Spence fanboys and other people as well uh, about his level of competition that he has fought at 147. But he also gets a lot of hell for his competition at 140. Which I think, man, I mean, his comp at 140 was what it was. I believe when he was at 140, I mean, the division was kind of like it wasn't the strongest, but that's who he had to fight. He was at 140. That's who he fought, you know? And then at 147, I mean, the top dudes, I mean, arguably, man, you know, a lot of people are saying duh, uh, Bud didn't want to, he was ducking Sean Porter, uh, stuff like that. I mean, you here's the thing about that, though, right? People say he was ducking Sean. Sean wanted to fight him. Now, remember that whole thing going around while Sean Porter was Errol Spence and uh, Sean and Terrence were good friends? And a lot of people wasn't letting that go. He's like, oh, man, you know, fuck all that. They should still scrap because fuck all that friend shit. I get it. I get that. But give that same energy to Errol Spence then. When he moves up to 154. I want to see you. You got to get that same same energy to fucking um, him and Jamel. If they end up in the same division and Jamel didn't move up, and I want to see the same thing. You know, why they not going to fight? They friends because they stay with mates. It's okay for them to get away with it. So I don't want to really talk about that. I want to talk about what I think Terrence Crawford's outlook is for his boxing career and where is he going. Um, I think uh, he will end up moving up to 154. I don't think the Errol Spence fight is going to happen. I think Errol Spence is going to find a way to not let that fight happen him and al Heyman. for some reason i'll never understand why that is i mean because that's a lot of money in that fight man that's just that's a fight for undisputed give or take because uh the wba thing is a little weird because uh i believe your dina's guys is still a wba champ they're not giving pacquiao the elevation so Errol Spence will have to go after Ugas still, or Terrence Crawford will have to go after Ugas. If I was Terrence Crawford, I don't know what's going on with him in top rank. Um, I, I'm, I'm hearing reports that he's leaving top rank in October. If that's the case, man, I would probably go after Ugas because Errol's probably going to prolong the fight between him if they even consider giving uh, Terrence Crawford a fair shake if they sit down at the table. I would go after Ugas, man. Grab that up. Grab that belt up so for some more leverage, I guess. And then we'll see what happens from there. But I think Terrence Crawford's going to shine at 154. He has the power. I think he's, his power's going to go up. His power, um, people were questioning his power at 147 when he first came in. But he's been showing he still has his power, if not greater power than that 140. And I think his power is going to be even more... Um, evident at 154 i think he's gonna do good against the top comp up there i think he does good against jamel charlo i believe he gives jamel charlo problems he might even stop him you know what i'm saying I, i'm telling you now i think he might even stop jamel charlo a lot of people oh man bud he gonna get knocked out by charlo but his, his chinny man he got hit man by fucking cavaloskis and i mean so what it's boxing he wasn't all over the floor. He didn't get flattened. Come on. Um, so I think he's going to do good at 154. I think he's going to go up there. I don't know what's going on with Jamel. What's going to happen with Undisputed. If him and Brian Castaño is going to scrap again. Because, you know, from the words of, of Jamel, you know, after the fight, he said he, he got to go back and his people was up to them to make the fight. We'll see and all this other shit. Not yeah, Let's go. And then at the conference, he was like, yeah, let's do it. But he was sounding kind of timid. When he was saying it. So, you know, um, we don't know what's going to happen with that. But I can see Bud ended up fighting Brian Castaño, Jamel Charlo, some of the bigger dudes, Banana. I think he stops Jason Rosario. Um, he stops a lot of dudes up there, man. I don't think nobody up there really got the skill set like Terrence Crawford. Maybe the only one that could hang with him up there is probably Tony Harrison. As far as, like, skill-wise, I like Tony Harrison. He's one of my favorite fighters, man. I think he's a great fighter. I think Tony Harrison will give uh, Bud a good fight. Um, but Jamel, I don't I just don't think Jamel is skilled enough to really hang with Bud, man. I just don't think it. Tony Harrison already showed that. You know, um, but I see him shining. I see him being a champ at 154, man. 
undisputed. Um, if the dudes fight him, I think Terrence Crawford got a high chance of being becoming undisputed at 154. Man, I, I can see it. I can see him probably taking belts off somebody that's whoever's undisputed, and he ends up running into him. If let's say it's a Brian Castaño becomes undisputed or Jamel, he he becomes undisputed. I think Bud ends up fighting him, and I think he ends up taking those belts from either one of them. Man, it's just how I see it. Um, but I see Bud shining. I think 154 is where Bud might end up maxing out because he's already, what, 34 years old, 33. He might end his career at 154, man, and retire. And I think he's going to be two-time undisputed, I think, at 140, at 154. I'm not too sure if he's going to be undisputed at 147 because all the games that's being played by these boxers. So I don't see it happening, man. It might. If it does, that'll be a surprise to me. But I don't see it. I see it more likely happening at 154. And I see Bud retiring a two-time champ and a um, champion at 147. Uh, this is Rebel Life Boxing. I'll get at you guys later on the next one. Enjoy y'all day, man. Something else I wanted to add before I close this, this video out. You know, a lot of people give Terrence Crawford his hell for his choice for his competition at 147. What was wrong with his competition at 147? Okay, people say Kavalaskis was a bum, but he gave he gave um, Terrence Crawford some some good some good moments in that fight. Kell Brook was a good fighter. He had his issues. He still look at Terrence Crawford's eye at the end of the fight. He gave Bud a good scrap up until he got knocked out. Um. Jose Ben uh Jose Benavidez, I think he hurt Bud one time in that fight somewhere to the body. I'm not sure. I believe it was the body. He gave Bud a good scrap, even though, you know what I mean? Oh, his leg. He shouldn't have gave Bud a good scrap because his leg was messed up. Same people give Tank praise for fighting Gamboa with a fucked up leg. Yo, it's crazy. Um Who else did Bud fight at 147? Um, um Jeff Horn. Bro, Jeff Horn had the WBO. Why not? He had to go get the belt. He took the belt from Jeff Horn. And if, you know, you want to argue about his comp, blame Bob Arum, right? That's what Arrow says, blame Bob. Okay, so blame Bob for Bud not getting the fights that he deserved in. So, you know what I mean? And I'm not going to keep running it back to Arrow Spence versus Terrence Crawford because I, I think it's not just Bob Arum's fault why that fight didn't happen. It got a lot to do with Arrow Spence and Al Heyman. So, I don't want to get too much into that here, but you can't fault Bud for the fighters that they put in front of him. Now, one thing I did also say about Bud was I didn't like a lot of the stuff he was saying about, yeah, he good, he comfortable. I didn't like that talk, and I made it known. That still doesn't take away from the fact that he's an excellent fighter, and I think he stops most people at 147, if not all of them. Shit, there's a reason why Manny Pacquiao wanted more money to fight er Terrence Crawford than he did to fight uh, Errol Spence. Think about that for a minute. Hmm. But Errol's supposed to be the biggest star, but he demand more money to fight Bud. Just saying. But anyway, <laughs> I had to put that in there. I'm off this. Catch y'all later, man. Peace.